Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Zelda Informer Update, our bi-weekly show that kind of flip-flops every other week with my Boss Man series, which is more of an opinionated uh, outlook at different things I'm thinking about Nintendo or video games on the whole. Hopefully Zelda, if we have some Zelda stuff that I have some strong opinions on. Uh, but this week uh, we're going to get right back into ZI Update, uh, starting off with questions that you guys have about the site or anything going on at Zelda Informer. Uh, so this first one comes from uh, LOZ Jam. He says, all right, so Nathaniel, I know we spoke about this before, but I think this really needs to be addressed. The Zelda Dungeon, Zelda Informer Merge, needs to come back into discussion. I think we really need to get into contact with Masis about this, as it is a huge concern. So I think we really need some concrete information as to what is happening. Myself and many others at Zelda Dungeon have tried, but he has altogether remained silent. I do have one more thing, however. Do you guys potentially need help during E3? From what it sounds like, it is going to be very straining on Darren through this E3 series. If you guys need help getting out news, I could perhaps lend a hand. My resume, of course, is of everything I have done at Zelda Dungeon. Just ask any of the staff there, as I am always quick and efficient about getting news out within the forums. So, if you guys need a hand for E3 season, I could see if I could help. This is also followed up by a similar question by Disciple of Majora. That was a very nice update, but I have to ask, have you made any headway into the forum issues? So, first we're going to tackle the forum stuff. Alright, so for those who don't know, the Zelda and Dungeon, Zelda and Former Merge isn't like both sites coming together to merge. Uh, LOZ Jam is talking specifically about the Forum Merger. Uh, it was originally planned when the sites were, were bought by, when Zelda Informer was bought by Masseys, that they were going to remain independent sites, but because Zelda Informer's forums were kind of relaunched last November, that instead of focusing on trying to build two forum communities, we would just have one forum community between both websites. So, the idea was that the Zelda Dungeons forums and Zelda Informer's forums were going to merge into one giant Zelda forum of awesome goodness. Uh, there was a lot of concerns about this, mostly from the Zelda Dungeon side. Since the Zelda Informer side, we weren't super active, so mostly the people that were on the forums were just happy to potentially have more members, that more Zelda fans that could interact with. Uh, so there was a lot of concern from the Zelda Dungeon side, because originally the forums were going to merge into Zelda Informer, uh, because Zelda Informer had a structure, or we have a structure set up, where our comments, our backend system, and our forums we're all one account. It was a unified account system. Yes, a unified account system, something that even Nintendo lacks. Um, although we have issues with our account system as well, uh, reality is that it hasn't happened. It was Massey's told me it would happen like, let me think, at the end of March after he was done with the Twilight Princess HD walkthrough, which, by the way, I believe he's still not done with the Twilight Princess HD walkthrough. Uh, he could talk to you more about why that's not finished. Uh, beyond that, uh, it's just been a really slow go of it. Uh, he's promised me, I think, two or three different rough estimate dates for the merger to happen. I know he supposedly downloaded the Zelda Dungeon forums and the Zelda Informer forums and tried merging them together and was going to see how it worked uh, privately before he tried doing it live. I don't know if that went well. I really don't have an update about that merger because um, Massey's himself hasn't given me an update on that merger. Now, uh, every single week, I have a management meeting with Masis to specifically deal with stuff at Zelda Informer. Um, it features Masis and Darren, since me and Darren are the two managers slash paid employees at Zelda Informer, besides Masis, the owner. And uh, we usually just talk about ongoings, either you know, really technical stuff like ad revenue issues, um, if we have any issues with any particular volunteer staff member, uh, features we should maybe add or cut from the site. Um, the meetings are mostly, I feel mostly deal with just uh, finances, to be honest. <laughs> uh, there's been uh, some feedback on other things, but for the most part, uh, Darren and I are free to do as we please with Zelda Informer. And uh, the forums, unfortunately, is one issue that we don't have a lot of say over at Zelda Informer. Um, I initially spoke out against the merger because I don't think 
uh, Zelda Informers community should have to interact with the Zelda Dungeon community if you guys don't want to. Uh, unfortunately, Massey's disagreed, and he's the boss, so he gets what he wants. Um, so the unfortunate truth of it is, I don't have an update. Uh, at this point, moving this far into him owning both sites, it's very clear that the forum merger is not a priority, and for you Zelda Dungeon members, this may not be a surprise. As you said, you always have a hard time getting a hold of Massey's. Um, he doesn't always respond well or pay a lot of attention to the forums. Uh, and I apologize. I know uh, when I was getting interactive with you guys, um, I was promising that I would be uh, available and that I would be able to help bridge the gap maybe between Massey's and you guys and the Zelda Informer community and the Zelda Dungeon community. Um, the reason I stopped interacting on the Zelda Dungeon forums was just I didn't I don't actually think Massey's is going to go through with it. <laughs> and he's going to watch the ZI update after our staff meeting on Wednesday and be like, Oh, Nate, I had an idea why are you talking about this stuff. Um, because you guys asked, and I know you care, and I wish I had a better response for you, but I, I honestly do not know. Um, and this speaks also to a disciple of Majora who asked about uh, the forum issues, because there's other former forums, as of right now, are basically unusable. You have to reset your password every single time you log in. Uh, that's not good. So, uh, I don't have any update on the forum issues because it's all on hold until Massey decides what he's going to do with merging the forums. Uh, if he decides not to merge the forums, which is my ideal solution, then uh, I'll start addressing the login issues right away. But there's no reason for me to work on addressing them if I don't have to, if it's all going to be mute point and we're going to merge into Zen Foro, which is the program that Zelda Dungeon uses. Or if they're going to merge it back into Envision Pro forwards, I have no idea. What I can tell you on that front, however, is obviously one thing we liked using the boards for were our Zelda Informer staff forums where we organized a lot of projects and we haven't had those in a while, so I started bringing them back. I have a separate venture uh, called NintendoPrime.com. I will get into more of that later um, for any Zelda Informer members that are interested and in maybe conversing more directly with me, um, but yeah. So, unfortunately, I don't have any updates on the forums. The Zelda Informer forums are going to remain broken until I know if the merge is going on or not. Uh, and I ha unfortunately have no updates on the merge. At this point, I, I would say it's safe to assume it's not going to happen just because it's not a priority. Um, unfortunately, for Zelda Informer members, that doesn't tell you much. But until I know 100% for certain, nothing's changing over what the current status quo is. Sorry. Um, so, I'm going to get right back into... Uh, the other part of ZI Update where we talk about things going on at the site now and in the future. Uh, so for starters, E3 is coming up. I believe I have one more ZI Update before E3. Yes, June 1st will be the next ZI Update. Alright, so, uh, wait, will it be June 1st? I don't even know. Whatever, two weeks from today <laughs> will be the next ZI Update. And that'll be the last one before E3. So I'm going to go over a lot more specific with our E3 plans then. But I'll let you know what we have going on now. I have requested of Nintendo for a booth tour, an interview with A.G. E Aeromo, or anybody else from Nintendo that we can get an interview with, even if it's just someone from the Treehouse. Um, I, you know, I've asked about uh, you know, potentially getting some access to their private area where you can record direct feed footage and audio, because I know that... Uh, oftentimes, even with Nintendo Treehouse, they always have them talking over things, and it's really hard to just get a direct feed of the pure audio, and you guys want to hear that stuff. Uh, I know it's important, so I, I'm really pressing Nintendo to give us an opportunity to record that for you. Um, all of the travel arrangements for myself have been made. Uh, as of right now, I'm only aware of myself, Zion, and Eric, my best friend, going to E3, Rod, uh, has not talked to me yet about it, so I assume he's not since the registration period has already passed, but I could be wrong. Uh, my my pass, I know that mine and my best friend Eric's E3 passes have already been approved. We're all set. Our travel arrangements are great. We're leaving early in the morning on the 13th, uh, and then we are getting back to Wisconsin at our homes around midnight on Friday or Saturday morning. Uh, so five full days away. It's going to be hard be away from my, my three children. It's going to be tough. Um, it's going to be ex an exhausting trip, but hopefully we have some good times there. And I have a car rental, so like, I plan to do some stuff with that. I, I have no idea. Um, another thing I want to mention is that we have been focusing on more editorial content at the site. 
I know that some of you guys are sick of just seeing us post YouTube theories or re music remixes. And I understand that we want to add some more variety to our content. So outside of the daily debates that have also come back, um, I've been focusing on making sure we have more editorials. Now we haven't hired any more editorial writers. Uh, the two that we have, Ray and Alfred, are back at it and getting weekly editorials out and I'm really happy for them. Uh, but we have it, uh, I want more than just those two editorials. So I've been writing more editorial work, which makes me happy because editorial writing is one of my favorite things to do at Zelda Informer, uh, even more than these video updates. Uh, so I'll just give you a tease on my next editorial. I've written two in the last few weeks. Um, my next editorial is going to be based around the idea of uh, who Zelda games are made for and who Nintendo should be targeting with their games. So it's, it's going to be kind of a broad topic. Um, I'm not going to give you any hints on what way I'm leaning towards it. You're just going to have to wait to see until I release it. Uh, that should be coming out sometime this week. I've already started on it. I um, started gathering some information and facts for it. Um, I also want to remind you guys that the final episode of the current Zelda Informer podcast is live. It went live last Saturday, probably the post, uh, or last Sunday, I think. And I think the post for it uh, went up on Monday. So uh, you can go listen to it. It's a sad farewell. It features all of the people that have been on the cast the most, AKA our host, Adam, Colin, uh, Chris, and Jake, who used to be a regular on the cast for at least half of the podcast life, if not more. Um, so the podcast, uh, that's episode 87. And it's sad to see him go. The whole episode had me crying, knowing that I'm not gonna uh, be hearing from these folks very often. That doesn't mean that I won't ever invite them on a future episode of the new podcast, but um, yeah. And an update on the new podcast. As I said last time, it is launching on June 1st. So we, there will be a week gap, uh, which is like a transition period. So there will not be a podcast next week. Uh, but the following week, we will have a podcast coming on June 1st. And we're going to be releasing it, hopefully, ideally, Wednesday morning, every single morning from here on out. Um, and, uh, the first podcast, uh, I'm sorry, before I get into any information on that, Alfred, one of our editorial writers is going to be a co-host with me. So it's going to be me and Alfred every single week for sure. And then the third person is going to be a rotating staff member. Uh, we don't have anyone even signed up for our first podcast yet. So it might be, end up being a special guest, um, you know, a YouTuber, HMK or Commonwealth Realm or something like that. Uh, but we are going to be trying to rotate that third slot. And I never want the podcast to be more than four people outside of special occasions when we are live and in person. And that reminds me that uh, <laughs> two of our first three podcast episodes are going to be considered the special kind. So not what our normal podcast will be like. Uh, so our second podcast that we're going to have a week after June 1st, so June 8th, is going to be focused around um, E3. And our hopes and dreams, specifically for The Legend of Zelda for Wii U and NX. What we've been hearing, uh, what we're looking forward to. I'll give, you know, what I'm looking forward to most as someone who's going to E3. They'll be talking about, uh, everyone else on the cast will probably be talking about what they're looking forward to most uh, to see from the, like, the Nintendo live stream and all that stuff. Um, and then the following week is an extra special episode where... Alfred will not be on it because he's not going to be at E3, but it's going to be a live from E3. We're all going to be in the same room. Uh, it's probably going to be me, uh, Eric, and just to give you a little background on my friend Eric, who's coming to help me uh, with camera work and stuff, he does not do, he's not really a huge Zelda fan. <laughs> um, he knows what Zelda is. He thinks it's fun. He helped me with Triforce Heroes content back uh, back last year, but he's, uh, he's there for my peace of mind because I'm a stranger in LA. It's my uh, second trip to LA and uh, my first one in quite some time so I just want some familiarity with me uh, but he's gonna be on the cast as kind of a voice of someone who isn't necessarily big into Zelda but he'll give us his thoughts on kind of as an outsider looking at it as a game that could get him into the series and what he thinks about it so it's gonna be a really unique perspective uh, not just someone like me who has played every single game dozens of times um, and then we're gonna also uh, try to grab some other people from the floor um, you know some other guests. I'm working on some meetups with people, so hopefully we have a nice group of four or five people of us. Uh, maybe either back in my hotel room or uh, at another location. Uh, well, I don't know. It's going to be a live cast. Uh, and to give you another update, the podcast itself is going to be one hour long. I talked about this before. Uh, it's going to be about 30 minutes of just talking about news topics and or pre-selected topics. Let's say it's a light week in news. 
but there's a few things I really want to hit on that week. We're going to bring up those topics in the first half hour, and then we're going to have fan topics after that, and then I'm not going to tell you what the closing section is yet, because we haven't decide, oops, decided what the closing section is going to be. Excuse me. Um, so that's what's happening with the podcast. Uh, by the way, we are taping fan topic submissions right now today. You can submit them down in the comment section, or you can send an email to podcast at zeldainformer.com, and uh, we will take fan topics that way uh, for our very first episode. Um, well, and early I mentioned uh, Nintendo Prime. It's a side project I've been doing. Um, I've relocated our Zelda Informer staff there uh, for staff forum purposes because it works. It's functional. Uh, they don't have to worry about login issues. And uh, Nintendo Prime is kind of like a side dish to what I do at Zelda Informer. Zelda Informer is my job. It's what I am paid to do. It is my day job. I love it to death. And I've been doing it for eight years, and I hope to be doing it for eight more. <laughs> um, assuming the Zelda series is around for eight more years. I hope it's around the rest of my life. Uh, but I wanted something that is purely my own. Um, I don't own Zelda Informer. It's a common misconception. And uh, there was a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that went where I used to own the site, and then I lost my ownership. And I don't, I don't want to bore you with those details. But um, I don't own Zelda Informer. It is owned by Massey's, who uh, owns Zelda Dungeon. He founded, is the webmaster, owns all of Zelda Dungeon, and I think Pokemon Dungeon, and Gen Game, and now uh, Zelda Informer. So he uh, he's kind of the owner. And as much as I appreciate um, him offering me a little, bit a little bit of stability with a regular paycheck every month, uh, although my contract isn't very long, um, I wanted a project that's purely my own that I can't get fired from, if that makes sense. Uh, so Nintendo Prime is that. It is a website that's going to eventually have editorial work on it from me um, and anyone anyone else, any of you guys are interested in writing for it. Um, I might dabble a little bit into news on it. I haven't really decided what to do with the news front there. Um, it's all ran through the Envision Power uh, system, and I'm debating on whether I should use their article system or the article system, uh, like a WordPress kind of blog thing. I haven't really decided. There is a, apparently a really strong article system with Envision uh, Pro boards or Envision Power boards that I haven't uh, fully explored yet. I'm still trying to figure out the details because there's not a lot of documentation on it. But either way, NintendoPrime.com is live right now. It's primarily a forum you can go to and talk about Nintendo and not just Zelda, anything about Nintendo. Uh, you can talk about other game systems too. We have a forum for that. Um, any other topics you want and I'm there every single day so it's a great way to get a hold of me talk to me directly uh, get more involved with other projects that I have going on there will eventually be like a Nintendo Prime podcast um, we're we'll probably launching that uh, closer to uh, around the time that they're going to have an NX um, launch event uh, or unveiling event if that makes sense uh, we'll probably have the Nintendo Prime com or we when I say we I will have the Nintendo Prime podcast probably coming out around that time because um, I want to focus squarely to see three Zelda Informer. There's a Zelda game. Nintendo's focusing on Zelda. It's time for me to just focus right on Zelda Informer. Um, but yeah, that's Nintendo Prime. I do technically have a Patreon set up for it if anyone wants to support it. But don't worry about that right now. I, I don't even think it's a project worth your support yet. When I feel I'm at a point that it's worth you guys investing in me to bring you more goodness beyond Zelda, um, I will let you know. Okay? So that's it for this uh, ZI update. You can follow me at Nate Chance. You can also go to my, my new project, NintendoPrime.com. Uh, check us out at Zelda Informer. Uh, Darren has been doing an awesome job with our Twitter our Twitter handle there, getting some, some really funny image posts out. Um, follow us on Facebook, Zelda Informer on Facebook. Um, otherwise, bookmark us, ZeldaInformer.com. We are here for you. Uh, leave any questions or concerns or anything about the site you have in the comments below, and I will address them next week or in two weeks from now on ZI Update.